Hello, everybody. Oh my gosh, it's so tight. Okay. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see by today's title, it will be a chill get ready with me. It is right now 7.30 at night. So what better to do than getting ready for nothing? So today I will be mentioning a few products that I did get in my Ipsy Glam, ba or Glam Bag Plus. And if you have not seen that video, I will go ahead and link it down below. Um, and yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get ready, chit chat, um, and all that good stuff. Alrighty, so I did my skincare this morning, um, all my regular routine and all that. So I'm just gonna brush through my eyebrows really fast, make sure they look good. No needing to fix it or anything like that. Alrighty, and so sorry if you can hear some shooting in the background. My husband is calling, um, playing Call of Duty, so yeah. So one, the first product that I do want to mention is the Tula Protecting Glow Daily Sunscreen Gel SPF 30. Uh, I've been using it ever since I got it and I love it. It gives the most beautiful glow in the whole world like i'm not joking when i say it makes you glowy girl like it looks like glass like it's not oily glowy but glassy glowy which i love um it's such a great product it is a little bit on the more expensive side but i'm so grateful that i got it in my ipsy this is how it looks like and I'm so grateful for it, for it, as I said, like a little dime size, like literally like, this is how much you need. This is usually how much I put on each cheek and that's it. And then I just blend it out and boom, you're good to go. So I usually mix it in with my moisturizer and then it, um, it just looks so pretty. Like I'm, I'm not sure if you will be able to see that, but it just looks so glowy, so pretty, and has like a citrusy scent, but not too strong. Like I'm not someone who, uh, who, who is bothered by scents, so to me, this is great. Now, for today's concealer, I have, oh, I guess I will be testing out the Pretty Fresh Concealer by ColourPop. Now, I am not sure if this is the right color for me. Now, um, if you're new to my channel, if you're new to watch me, um, I do not use BB creams. I do not use foundations. Like my favorite thing in the world is to just conceal under my eyes, conceal, just spot conceal on my face if I have any pimples or anything like that. So today, I wish, this one to be gone and that's about it. It's pretty much this one. Lately, my breakouts have been very much under control, so I'm not bothered by that. So before I go in with the Pretty Fresh Concealer though, I have another product to test out for you guys. So I did test it out a week ago. I filmed the video, did not like how, how it turned out but it's the Luminizer Primer by Dr. Brand, um, Pores No More. So this is how it looks like. Um, very nice packaging, very heavy and bougie. So let's go ahead and apply that. And with, even though I don't wear foundation, I do apply it all over my face. I don't know why. Actually, let me just put a, some on my finger. And it is tinted, but it does go away. So. This is how it looks like. Now we're just gonna put it on. Mostly focus it on my forehead and then just rub it in. I love how this smells. Like it has a citrusy scent as well. I love it. Like I love when stuff um, smells nice, but I did learn that scents uh, or scented products especially when it comes to skincare is not good so i'm trying to avoid that trying to find a uh, find good skincare now i'm not quite sure 
If you guys are familiar with um, Hiram, um, he's a skincare specialist, I believe. Like, in, at the beginning of his videos, he always puts on a disclaimer what he is, and I always forget the term, but um, he does um, reaction videos to celebrities' uh, skincare routines. Um, he reviews brands in general. He and I learned a lot from him when it comes to um, skincare. Um, first of all, the scents are not good. They can irritate you. Now my skin is pretty tough. Like not a lot of stuff can irritate it. So I'm pretty grateful for that. But um, I recently, or actually yesterday, I watched his video reacting to Jessica Alba's skincare routine. Obviously, you know, she has the her own skincare brand, which is Honest Beauty. And he said that he's very impressed with the ingredients that she has in her skincare. So I'm most likely going to purchase some of her products and see. I do have my staple products in my skincare routine, but I'm always down to try out something new. Now, the shade that I have in the Pretty Fresh Concealer is medium 85 and now i was at ulta because it did, it did open up not uh, not too long ago here and um i looked at it and i looked at the shades a lot of them were sold out you cannot swatch them obviously so i was like oh ready i'll go ahead and start off with my under eyes oh i don't know if that's good good color oh yeah, I'm gonna just start off with one side. So another thing that I want to mention from my Ipsy uh, Glam Bag is the sponge. So my go-to is the Real Techniques, super squishy, super great, doesn't absorb too, too much. Now, this is the Huda Beauty one. Um, it is more dense. It, does, it doesn't feel as pouncy. Like in my, that video that I tried to film, I did try it out and like just the feeling of it, like it's just so different. Um, I didn't quite know if I like it or not, so today will be the final day for you. So I think on this side I will be using the Real Techniques and then this one, the Huda Beauty one. Now let's see with the Real Techniques one. Oh, the shade. Oh, this shade is not too, too bad. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad. I mean, it is pretty light. And it's a medium neutral, so I'm not quite sure. I mean, I love the finish though. Ooh. <laughs> I love the finish. What the heck? Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna do the rest of my face now that I know how it looks Let's like see. with the Huda Beauty one. I did dampen both of them. The, um, obviously, the real techniques did grow quite a bit with the Huda Beauty one, not too, too much. So I will be using this. Oh, didn't mean to flick you off. Uh, I'm going to use this flat side. Let's see. Mm. I don't know, sponges are just so weird to review. Especially for a beginner like me, but I don't know like there's just something about the sponge that I don't like I'm not quite sure what it is I just I'm not in love with it <laughs> Oh Yeah, I don't know like I'm gonna do half of my face here It's so hard doing it half and half especially like on the nose i want to do the nose with the real techniques i love how the concealer looks like though the concealer is definitely a huge yes in my books we'll be repurchasing now that i look at it the the shade doesn't look too, too bad. I will give it that. Oh, I love how it looks, goodness. 
I will go ahead and build it up under, whoop, whoop. I will go ahead and build it up under my eyes just a little bit more just to see how full coverage I can get. Alrighty. Well, before everything, creases on me. Now, I do want to mention, I am a person that when I put on concealer, I, no matter what I use, it just creases on me for some reason. So I'm gonna be using the brush to set my concealer and I'm gonna use the Reserve Your Cabana by um, Wet n Wild. It is technically a bronzer, but watching Kelly's track, she put me on this and I love it. Now, this one's by Vasanti Concealer Buffer. Got it in my Ipsy as well. I'm just gonna set everything down. And if you can hear that, that's my dog Bruce. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to see more of my dog Bruce, head over to Instagram, look for my account, let's get, let's do life together. And you will see my dogs right there. I have a pit bull, his name is Bruce, he's three years old. And then I have another dog, her name is Daisy. And she actually just turned three as well. She's a border collie mix. Now Bruce, we got off a friend and then Daisy, we rescued from the pound and they're the best thing that happened to me ever. Um, dogs are just the best. This powder in conjunction with the Pretty Fresh Concealer, I just love. Now, I think I found my favorite combo so far. Like, my face looks ready. <laughs> oh, I love it so, so much. Okay, so it depends on my mood. Sometimes I start off with blush and highlight and all that. Today, I am actually going to start with eyeshadow. Now, for, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I did use concealer to prepare my eyelids, but today I am going to be using the Milani eyeshadow primer and I will be just applying that on my lids. I'm just getting ready. I am so excited about the palettes that we're gonna use today because I love the colors in there. It's gonna be the color pop as well. And now this eyeshadow, eyeshadow primer eyeshadow primer um i'm not used to like it's something some it's something 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 so completely different um i don't know how to describe it i don't know if i'm a big big fan of it um i will have to test it out just a couple more times and see um because i haven't gotten the chance to really wear it throughout the day and see if my eyeshadow crease is on me or not and and yeah, like, I just don't know if I like the consistency of it. And, and the last video that I made, um, I put on that uh, eyeshadow primer and like my eyes started stinging for some reason. And now it's happening again. Like it's mild, it's nothing too, too bad. But still, like it's stinging. And I know it's not supposed to sting, so we'll see. Alrighty, so I have that down. Now, for eyeshadow palettes, I have first of all, the very first ColourPop palette that I've ever gotten, which is the Disney Designer Collection. This is how it looks like, super pretty. Love the colors in there, it's well used um, ever since I got into makeup. Then I have the Becky G Salvaje palette. Please look at those colors, they're just so gorgeous. And then I have the Golden State of Mind, which is all shimmers, so pretty. My favorite is this blue. It just gives you the most beautiful sh uh, sheen on your eyes. Now, uh, I also have one little palette that I got in my Ipsy. It just has neutral colors. It's like an everyday little palette, if I can get it open. Now, this is how it looks like, and I, oops. <laughs> Uh, this is how it looks like and I am going to be using this shade to just pat everything down on my lid I will be using my concealer brush because there's nothing special on there And um, I'll be just setting my eyeshadow primer Now today I am going for something every day. I do want something very neutral or to start off with a light color So I think I will be going in with grumpy from the Disney palette, um, which is this shade right here. 
and I will be taking it on a Farrah brush. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite um, like big blender brush to go in with first. Super fluffy, super nice. It just has like, it's so big, like it just fits in my crease super nice. So I will be going in with Grumpy first. Go ahead and dip that in. And then working it on my crease. And usually like when I start off with a light color like that, I like dragging it on my eyelid as well, just to have something down there. And I like building up my colors gradually, especially since I'm still learning how to blend. It is important to really take your time and not overdo it. And then it. I want to go in with a deeper shade just to deepen it up just a little bit. I will be going in with the same brush and um, I will be going in with Trident, which is this color right now here. Now I am be going in with something a little bit smaller, which is this brush right here. I'm not quite sure about who it is. Let's see, um, Elizabeth. Mod tapered blending brush. Um, I did get this in an Ipsy as well. So I will be going in with the shade right here. It's called Cafecito. And I will be dipping in there and just creating just a little bit of depth in my outer V. I will be going in with this shade right here, which is called Golden Egg. I will not be spritzing my brush. So I'm gonna go in with the brush first and then we'll see how it looks like. You know how, you know, your finger amps up any kind of um, glitter shade, so we'll see. And here we go. Okay, let me dip it in just a little bit more. So this one's very subtle. It's not really like foiled or anything. It just has such a nice shimmer to it. Like when the light, light hits it, it looks very, very pretty. Now I will be going in with my finger just to see how much I can amp it up. This is how it looks like on my finger. Alrighty, there you go, look at this. Look at this color. Wow, oh, oh my gosh. So pretty. On my lower lash line, I will be putting down some color. Let me just see where it is. All right, there it is. Okay, so I will be going in with the lightest shade that we had. Um, be going in with Grumpy again, just to pack down some color. Just a little bit, not too, too much. I don't really like too, too much color under underneath my eyes anyway. Just like that. Alrighty, looks pretty good to me. Let's go ahead and apply some mascara prepping for the eyelashes. I will be using the Bambi Eye Mascara by L'Oreal. It's the new mascara that they have. This is how the wand looks like. Very big, very fluffy. Love it for my upper lashes. Now my lashes are pretty long. I don't really have issues with them whatsoever. Like pretty much any mascara will will do the same, but the Bambi, like, they just, this mascara just, it's different. I will be applying my blush, which is the Gigi Gorgeous um, blush in Authentic and Pride. I got this in my Ipsy as well. It comes with a big mirror, or pretty decent big mirror for such a compact. If I can get out, there it is. Now it does come with a shimmery side and a matte side. You can customize it, you can use both or each on their own. I like using the matte one, so I will be using this brush right here. It's by uh, Chic and it's a blush brush. This is how it looks like, super fluffy. And I will be going in with the, with the matte side. Now, I don't really con- Ah, guys, no. Ah, okay. So, I only like matte blushes. So I don't really contour or anything like that. And I usually just smile 
and just put it on the apple on my cheeks. This is the first time actually me trying it out. Uh, if you have seen, or if not, in my Ipsy video, um, I did mention that this one came in uh, broken when I unboxed my Ipsy. And they did send me a new one within a week. So I like this blush a lot and I think it does go pretty well with my look today. It doesn't look too, too bad. We'll see how it wears, but I do like how it looks like. Now for a highlight, I will be going in with the with the golden one by the oops by Huda Beauty. I really like this one as well. And I'll be using it on a it's by Slim Miss Glam. I love her brushes and it's a tapered brush. So we'll be applying my highlight with that. And the Huda Beauty um, highlighters are pretty nice as well. Like she knows how to make highlights, if not sponges. <laughs> I like putting it on the apple of my cheeks as well because when the light hits it, when I smile, it, it just looks so pretty. Down my nose, Cupid's bow. Right here, I like to glow as you can see. Alrighty, so last step, setting spray. Mm, I love how it smells, so nice. Alrighty, and that is it you guys. This is my finished look. So sorry I couldn't put on the fake eyelashes, it just didn't work out today. I still hope you had fun watching me. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload. If you want to be friends, I am here for you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!